The people talk about love. No, I mean, we heard a lot of uh, maybe sermons, speeches about love, people talk. But what I found is, people don't understand the importance of love. So it's very scriptural. Uh, in the word of God it says, the Buddhism it says, even all other religions talks about love. But don't you see, day by day, people, the, the good qualities are draining out from this society and hatred, anger, jealousy prevailing in this society. So for that, in, in the seventh touch, I, sp I used to speak about the medical aspect of having love, you know, and psychologically and medically, the benefit that we as individual a person can have. Now, uh, when you enrich with love, happiness comes with that. Now, let me ask this question from you. Is it all right? Yeah, go ahead. From where can you find the best pharmacy in this world? You are talking about a physical pharmacy. I, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll answer uh, your question. It might be wrong. It's in your mind. Exactly. Now, when I ask these questions from some people, they say maybe USA, the technology is very high, maybe China or Europe or some other country, so developed country. But as you rightly said, it's in your mind. So you need to identify what the mechanism, what, what will happen in your body. So there's a part called hypothalamus in your mind. So hypothalamus is the best pharmacy, that's what doctors say and uh, medical scientists say. And I can remember even uh, Professor Carlo Fonseca was talking about this uh, some time back. So when you are filled with happiness, love, the hypothalamus opens and uh, produces hormones like uh, endorphin, oxytocin, uh, valium and uh, there are so many. So those uh, hormones, those chemicals cures you. It, it, that is good for your body. You will have a healthy body and also healthy mind. So you can focus your vision if you have, if you are enriched with love and you have good health to move forward, uh, good conscience. So, we need to tell them to identify this. At the same time, if you are filled with hatred, anger, what will happen? Negative, negative uh, chemicals will produce and it will harm you. Now, now, Miriam, now, if I am angry with you and if I, if I hate you, what will happen? It's like I drink a glass of poison and waiting, something will happen to you. Now, people talk about love. But it's not, it's not been practiced in this society. So what kind of step that you can do? So how can we practice it? Mariam, what's your nationality? I'm a Sri Lankan. Sri Lankan. Yeah, that's true. And what is, what's your religion? <laughs> I'm a multi-religion person. Oh, that's, so that's, that's not, not, there's no that's particular one so, religion. Yeah, <laughs> and your country? <laughs> Sri Lanka. Great. So when I, I used to ask this uh, from many audiences, they say, I'm a Sri Lankan or Indian or American or when you talk about religion, I'm, I'm a Christian, Buddhist, a Muslim, Hindu, all kind of things. And when you talk about the country, I'm, I'm, Sri Lanka, I'm from Sri Lanka, India, USA. But when, I, when somebody asks the same question from me, now I'm talking about the eight uh, practicing aspect. When somebody asks the same question from me, what I say is, what's your nationality? I say on paper. I'm Sri Lankan. But in my subconscious mind, I always keep that I'm a human being. Then, uh, whether you are Indian or American or I don't mind, or Muslim or Hindu, you are a human being. So you are my brother or you are sister, right? And uh, so that's easy for me. My, my hypothalamus works well then. Then, when somebody asks, what's your religion? On paper, I'm Christian. But I always believe unconditional, unselfish, unfailing love is the religion. In, in, in scriptures, it talk, talks about word of, word of God. Word of, it says the word of God is love. So I always believe love. There's no religion for love. I mean, love is common for everyone. I'm talking about unconditional love. So when you have that, so I don't mind you are a Buddhist or a Muslim or whatever the religion that you are. You are my sister or brother, right? The third aspect is, when, when somebody asks about your country, I always say, okay, on paper I belong to Sri Lanka, but 
in my subconscious i belong to this universe then i don't have any any uh, claim for a piece of land i don't have to fight for that i always tell my family if you cut a tree sometimes you happen to cut cut because unavoidable circumstances try to grow another two two trees at least so we need to love this nature as well so when you have that <coughs> you don't have racial issue, issues nationality problems ethnic problems when you don't have that in your in your subconscious what will happen that's very your subconscious is very immaculate clear then your hypothalamus opens and produces very good hormones for you which will take you to a vision